Affirmative action, diversity, and hiring quotas have been all over the news recently. A new survey reported by Bloomberg News finds that workplace discrimination against white males has become institutionalized. Bloomberg, S&P 100 added more than 300,000 jobs, 94% went to people of color. From ResumeBuilder.com, a recent survey of 1,000 hiring managers in the United States found that one in six, or about 16%, have been told to stop hiring white men. But a just-released study suggests white males may have an unrealized advantage in the workforce. Punctuality. Breaking news, CNN. Early risers may have inherited a faster body clock from Neanderthals. CNN, early risers inherited genetic variants from Neanderthals, increasing their chance of being morning people. Continuing, Neanderthals who evolved at high latitudes in Europe for hundreds of thousands of years may have been better adapted to seasonal variation in daylight. From the Smithsonian Magazine, Neanderthal DNA may explain early risers. Modern humans of non-African ancestry have between 1 and 4% Neanderthal DNA. Continuing, when early humans migrated from Africa to Eurasia, roughly 70,000 years ago, they mated with Neanderthals who had already adapted to colder, darker climates of the north. Ethnic Europeans, largest percentage of Neanderthal DNA. Svante Pabo's team at the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig first discovered Neanderthal DNA in the Eurasian genome in 2010. According to Pabo and other geneticists, Europeans have up to 4% Neanderthal DNA admixture. Some outliers have tested in the 4 to 5% range. According to University of Wisconsin professor John Hawks, Otzi the Iceman had 5.5% Neanderthal DNA. One early European discovered at Bako Kiro Cave in Bulgaria had an astonishing 9.5% Neanderthal. Oxford Study The study was published December 14th. Archaic Introgression Shaped Human Circadian Traits. MSN, Earth Scientist Mark Maslin, quote, Hunter-gatherers in Africa spend only 30% of their awake time collecting food, end quote. Continuing, Maslin, quote, The farther north you go, the shorter days get in winter when food is particularly scarce, end quote. Continuing, Maslin, So it makes sense for Neanderthals and humans to start collecting food as soon as there is light to work by, end quote. Whites have uniquely adapted traits. Ethnic Europeans have other morphological traits from hundreds of thousands of years of separate evolution in Europe that likely affect modern working habits. Chris Stringer, their ability to take in more oxygen gave them an edge. They were able to have intense physical challenges without getting tired quickly. Europeans also acquired BNC2 gene allele from Neanderthals for lighter skin and genes to help boost immunity. Penn State geneticist Kevin Fondora, quote, Neanderthal genes relating to skin and the immune system, these new genes might have helped us survive outside of Africa, end quote. Princeton geneticist Joshua Akei, quote, 
Most of the Neanderthal ancestry comes from a hybridization event involving all non-Africans occurring shortly after the out of Africa dispersed, end quote. Africans, little to no Neanderthal. CNN further notes, Africans may lack early riser traits as the Neanderthal introgression happened quote unquote, out of Africa. Africans have 0.0% to less than 0.03% Neanderthal DNA admixture. Eupane geneticist Sarah Tishkoff outlines most of that 0.03% comes from later introgression as a result of colonial occupation. But Africans' distinct genetic traits make them well adapted in other areas. Hard work is racist. Indeed, some activist groups are now protesting against hard work. They are labeling good work ethics as an example of white supremacy. From the Washington Times, September 2020, the National Museum of African American History and Culture lists traits such as hard work, self-reliance, delayed gratification, being on time, and politeness as related to white culture. From AEI.org, in 2020, the Smithsonian had to remove an exhibit that suggested hard work and being on time were examples of whiteness. Education expert and lecturer Rick Hess writes, it isn't white supremacy to respect timeliness and hard work. Neanderthal DNA, whites better adapted for a challenging work environment? Thank you for watching.